perhaps the most important core disagreement, in their minds at least, is the ideal man being the very sabotaged hero. And this man being the scale we can use to judge women's worth, women's intelligence, women's insight, focus, and wisdom. One must consider the environment, the society, the world that allows for a very sabotaged hero. The lone sabotaged hero, if you will. There's a gap that is greater than the gap between the hero in his glory, Haro Ares, in his glory, okay, and the rest of the world. Because they didn't stand with him, and they allowed him to be sabotaged this way and to be on his own. This is the ideal man of all time for humanity. You know? And, of course, it shows an appalling lack of insight on women's part when you see them as a group. Why can't they single him out? Boom, that's him. Right? Why can't they focus enough to stop at nothing to be with him when they come across him? Why don't they have the wisdom to understand who he is and why? This goes back to martial arts itself. The mind is the most obvious thing to a martial artist who's not face to face with another martial artist when it comes to whether or not you can take them serious. It has nothing to do with using martial art terms or knowledge itself. It has everything to do with focus, determination, willpower. Righteous indignation, a keen, a sharp mind, which leads to being sabotaged. When we see the sabotaged, sharp, determined, honest, focused, heroic mind, we must say every other martial artist is a bitch. This guy is going to come into that righteous indignation like you wouldn't believe. He's in the re repetition of it. It is like somebody who hasn't run for 20 years saying, you know, I'm the fastest versus someone who trains every day in running. This mind has been trained with righteous indignation. And of course, it's the why lie argument. Why would this guy lie? Is telling the truth going to get him women? No, everyone's going to go against him, right? Everyone's in the one of three groups, right? Right, left or middle, you know, or conspiracy theorists. That's going to say this guy's wrong because we don't want him to outshine us. So he's not going to get women as a result. He's not going to get money. He's not going to get fame. What he is going to get is noticed by the most insightful and assertive martial artists who are the only ones a true martial artist can take seriously. And of them, he is the king of kings. He is the lord of lords. They are simply learners. He is the hero. In Greek, heros, master. He is the master. They are the students. You are sick and a coward who cannot face himself much less anyone else, if you don't know that. So when we look at the scale, at the top is this man. Then beneath him is the hero in his glory, right, which can no longer come after I'm gone. At the bottom is the rich old money illusionist that master illusionists help out, like the royal families of the world other than mine. Okay. We know this because all paths lead to this truth. All controlled opposition cite the elite, okay? Um, uh, when we look at the path of the atheist and the, the Americanist, if you will, the statist, right? This is evil, fun, childish, you know, demonic paths, right? The Bible makes it clear that the rich are the evil. Pagan mythology, right? Pluto, Hades, Pluto means the rich and the rich is beneath the earth. Dispatcher, Orcus, all these point to the rich. Men. Men, okay, chemists, chemistry, mining, the rich. So no matter what path you're on, if you're on it effectively, you come to the conclusion that the wise woman would not marry the rich person. It is immoral, it is wrong, it is rewarding him for his treachery in a world that is hopelessly lost. The only person who can be seen as in between is the recluse on the fence who's throwing bones to the sabotage hero. He's not in the, in the divine order, okay?
okay, but he's not quite on the wrong side of the fence. He has to be separated to the most he can be without being in the divine order. And he has to be throwing bones to the hero. Everyone else is, is you know, is no better, no more good, but perhaps less evil than the rich old money illusionist that the master illusionists help out.